This time I want to review two charade knives side by side. They are both folders with ceramic blades. Just a quick disclaimer, these knives were sent to me for free for review purposes under the condition that I give nothing but my honest opinion. As always, I do not say good things about a knife just because I got it for free, as my subscribers know. The smaller one of the two is the model SCH405 and the larger is the SCH402L. The price range on these two is 20 to 30 in case of the smaller 405 and 30 to 40 in case of the larger 402L. And they are both made in China. They are designed as extremely lightweight everyday carry knives. The smaller one weighs only 37 grams or 1.3 ounces. The larger one weighs uh, 62 grams or 2.2 ounces. And the reason for the low weight is the materials. Ceramic blade and carbon fiber handle. Specifically, the blade is made of zirconium dioxide, also known as zirconia, which is an extremely hard material. It is significantly harder and more brittle than steel. From what I've seen, the hardness uh, is over 80 on the Rockwell A scale. And this material has some advantages and disadvantages over steel. So first of all, it is 100% rust proof. You know, even stainless steel can under certain circumstances still rust, depending on the exact type of stainless steel. Like for example, in a, you know, ocean environment, uh, salt water, that can still corrode stainless steel and it's you know, overall, it's just a matter of time. But zirconia won't corrode. Also, it is non-porous material. So if you use it for cutting food, no bacteria can stick to it. And also, it won't oxidize food. So it doesn't give it a metallic smell or taste, which is why ceramic blades are quite popular for kitchen knives. And... Also, when you're sharpening it, it doesn't raise a burr. It's a lot lighter than steel, but it's also more fragile. And that is the main problem with this material. You have to be very careful with it. It is quite easy to chip the edge or even break the entire blade or snap the tip off just because it is so hard. It just becomes brittle. So generally, it's recommended primarily for cutting food and other soft materials. Unless we're talking frozen food or, say, meat with bones, then this would not be suitable. If you try to cut bone with it, you can chip the edge. And even cutting cheese is not recommended, typically, by manufacturers of ceramic blades. So yes, you have to be Definitely quite careful with this. For a nice zirconia is also a very good material because it retains the edge exceptionally well. In fact, we've had this kitchen knife made of zirconia for, I think, about two years, at least one and a half. And it has been used, you know, very frequently in the kitchen. And even after all of that time, it is still very sharp. And we haven't resharpened this a single time. So you can literally use a zirconia blade for years without having to even resharpen it. So exactly how sharp does this knife come? Well, very sharp. You can see I can quite easily cut even you know, tiny slices of this paper here. Very easy. So this is really sharp, as you can tell, with this thin phone book paper. So basically, if you like knives but find knife sharpening tedious or are not very good at it, this is a really good choice because, well, you won't have to anytime soon. And if you do, you, there are sharpeners for ceramic blades. You just have to use the ones that are coated with diamond dust because anything else is simply not hard enough to sharpen ceramics. As you can see, this is a liner lock and the liner is made of stainless steel. See, it has this open pillar construction. 
and at first the liner when it came was a bit stiff it still is somewhat stiff and the um, the blade didn't pivot very smoothly but it has broken in pretty quickly so now it's a lot better it's um, not the easiest knife to open with one hand simply because it's so small but as you can see you can do it and the lockup is very good there is no blade play either side to side or front to back so this is, feels really solid a carbon fiber handle scales are very nice at least if you like carbon fiber personally i think it looks really aesthetically pleasing and also nice thing about this is it feels really good it feels extremely smooth which um you know you may think might be a problem and with regards to how much traction you get but with the kinds of tasks you are going to do with this it's going to stay in your hand no matter what and also it's ergonomically shaped so not a problem there and the corners are beveled as you can see so that means this feels really good in the hand i mean it's one of the nicest feeling handles nicest feeling that that sounds kind of weird but well it's one of the most comfortable handles i've tried so far the pocket clip has the right amount of stiffness definitely good enough to do the job but it's not overly tight personally i'm going to just remove it and you know, just carry it in the pocket because that makes a lot of sense with such a small light knife it's not reversible like it's really just one position only so it's going to be tip down carry which is not ideal another reason to for me to get rid of it and also it's not reversible for left-handed users so yeah the pocket clip is kind of yeah well it's there but it's not particularly good by any means so now on to the larger of the two the 402l and this is the one that i prefer out of these two i very much like this uh, main reason is i prefer the size i don't like really small knives i just prefer to have you know for one a bit more to hold on to and also a longer blade longer edge you know it's just more effective for cutting so this is definitely the one that i prefer also this is much smoother than the other one i don't know if it's an issue with just this particular one but this knife here is far better i mean it's buttery smooth right out of the box didn't need any break-in period it's extremely smooth very nice and also the liner is not stiff at all so it's very easy to it's, it's also a lot easier to open and close as opposed to the the shorter one so that's nice definitely like that the thumb studs are ambidextrous and a little on the small side would be a bit easier to open if they were larger but really it's no big deal and um good thing is that makes them less likely to snag in the pocket the handle on this one here is also a very nice shape again fits the hand well and the carbon fiber apparently is a bit squeaky <laughs> as i just found out but who cares and uh yeah again it feels really good i mean extremely comfortable handle very nice the uh, jimping on the liner i'm personally not a fan of i don't think it's necessary i just think it makes it less comfortable than it could be but oh well no big deal no jimping anywhere else and really i don't think it will be necessary whatsoever the tip is decent it's not too narrow for the material you always have to worry about the tip just snapping off when it's made of zirconia if it's too fine um i don't really see why it's it's tapered why it has a slight distal taper here towards the end it, it's not i don't think it makes any sense i think it the the point should be the same thickness as the rest of the blade because this just makes it unnecessarily weak and it's not like you're going to use the point at least you shouldn't you can't pry with a ceramic knife without risking to break it and otherwise yeah there's really not much reason to have a fine tip so personally i 
just make this the same thickness throughout. This would make it sturdier, would make more sense in my opinion. But yeah, that's pretty much the only nitpick I can find and maybe that the belt clip is one position only. So yeah, other than those minor nitpicks, really the main drawback of these knives is, well, the material. It's brittle. You have to be aware of that. You cannot cut tough or hard materials. With this, it's really for light duty cutting. But for that, they are excellent. I mean, absolutely fantastic edge retention. They come very sharp, which reminds me, I haven't shown you the sharpness of this one. Same thing. Also comes very sharp. Overall, I really like these knives. I mean, well-designed, well-made, good materials. Yes, they are made in China and some people are going to be bothered by that. But personally, I really don't care. I care about the quality, you know, how the knife holds up. And yeah, in that regard, these are definitely well-made. And they're very affordable too. I mean, you know, $35 for this, absolutely worth it, in my opinion. And uh, this is going to last you for a long time unless you, well, try to do something with it that it's really not designed for because it is going to be fragile compared to a steel blade. But otherwise, you know, very sharp. You won't have to resharpen this anytime soon. And um, yeah, they're super light, you know, excellent for everyday carry. So there you have it. I'm going to post the specifications down below in the video description, as well as links to where you can find these at a good price. So hope this was helpful and thanks for watching.